just in, brand new Dakin and Muir 3. Let's take a look at it. First thoughts are, Dakin have taken the Amura 2 and made it a sleeker, slimmer, slightly more attractive unit with less of a curve, but more of the finer details. Let's look at the finer details. Number one, they've gone flash mounted with the uh, eye sensor. The eye sensor will switch the unit off if unoccupied between five to eight minutes. Great feature, great addition to the unit, making it a bit more quirkier. The second one is they've got the Dakin streamer, which is now in the Dakin Stylish. This is a fantastic air purifying device which cleans the air that you're breathing in. Another great addition to this Amura 3 is the remote controller. Come and take a look. They've used the same technology for the Madoka wall mount. Again, it's 2022. They've transformed the basic controller, which Dakin were the first to have the backlight. Well, this has the backlight and it's just much more modern looking. They've done away with the ugly Class B sort of holder and they've included this magnetic device, which will actually allow the controller be, to be mounted magnetically to the wall. Again, it's the little things, but it just adds an extra value to the customer. The only small niggle that I've got on this unit is the size. It's still almost a meter wide, like the Amura 2. Again, love it or hate it, it's a bigger unit. Dakin have got the Dakin Stylish, which is the slimmer alternative. You can put the Stylish on the multi with the Amura. Um, in a bigger open plan space, fantastic this unit will look amazing bit of a centerpiece to your room however in a small bedroom i'm not so sure i think that's where the stylish would come in better to sum up the dakin amura 3 is a fantastic upgrade to the amura 2 can't wait to install it if you can set aside the size and you've got a nice open plan space where you want a snazzy unit with some great features fantastic looking controller fantastic air purifier it's something to look out for I think it's definitely one of the most premium units on the market and we will be adding this to our portfolio to install. Engineers, listen up. It's a great unit. Bear in mind a few things. The cover is the Dakin matte finish. Dirty fingerprints, they're gonna be on that cover. Remove that front cover. Number two, maintenance engineers. The unit does use the Dakin single carcass drip tray. It's a bit fiddly to take apart. If you wanna get the fan scroll out, you're lifting that coil up. Other than that, be careful with it. As always, it is a precious bit of kit. It's not your standard unit you can throw up on the wall. Spend a bit of time, care and attention with it, and it'll, it'll install smoothly. Another little thing, don't forget the screw caps in the instruction manual. You lose them screw caps and the unit ain't gonna look good. Thank you. <laughs>